European markets are heading for a slightly lower open on Friday, furthering a significant sell-off after an economic reality check from the US Federal Reserve and concern over a second wave of coronavirus infections rocked sentiment. Britain's FTSE 100 is seen around 24 points lower at 6.053, Germany's DAX is expected to fall around 32 points to 11.938 and France's CAC 40 is set to open around 18 points lower at 4.798, according to IG data. Thursday saw the pan-European stocks 600 plunge 4% after the Fed cautioned of a 6. 5% fall in UGDP gross domestic product in 2020, denting hopes of an immediate V-shaped economic recovery in the aftermath of the coronavirus crisis, while several U states reported a spike in coronavirus cases after reopening their economies. Stocks in Asia-Pacific continued to tumble on Friday, continuing a rough end to the week for global markets. South Korea's Kospi led the region's losses with a 2. 37% fall during afternoon trade. This came on the back of a dire handover from Wall Street, where U stocks suffered their worst session since March on Thursday with the Dow plunging more than 1, 800 points. Dow futures were up more than 300 points on Friday morning, pointing to a slight recouping of losses at the open. The International Monetary Fund IMF, said Thursday that governments around the world have deployed $10 trillion in stimulus packages aimed at mitigating the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, which has now infected more than 7.5 million people worldwide. However, IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva suggested that significantly more action will be needed to shore up the global economy. In Europe, the Financial Times reported Thursday that the UK has abandoned plans to introduce border checks with the European Union on January 1, after pressure from businesses to minimise chaos amid the coronavirus pandemic. Britain said Thursday that it had agreed on an intensified timetable in July for negotiations over a new free trade agreement with the EU, as both sides look to thrash out an accord before the Brexit transition period concludes at the end of the year. The EU industrial production figures are due at 10 a.m. London time, along with May inflation figures out of France and Spain.